Hi, uh, this is the second lecture for solving examples for how to calculate the power in three phase circuits. The previous uh, video explained if you have one load connected to a system. In this example, we are going to have two loads, load one and load two, and they are assumed to be balanced. Let's just treat the problem here. Uh, two balanced loads are connected to 240 kilovolt. So you can say that the voltage uh, in the system here, 240 kilovolt. And that truth me is square and the frequency 60 hertz. Uh, load one is given 30 kilowatt and power factor 0.6 lagging. That's uh, the first one will be 30 kilowatt and 0.6 lagging the second one draws 45 kilo bar so will be 45 kilo bar and the power factor 0 0.8 and it's lagging well the question is uh, determine the complex real reactive powers absorbed by the combined load it means the total load we want to find its total active power total q total okay to solve problem like that uh, i'm going to make a table to make it easy for putting the information in the problem the table here we're going to do uh, all right let's just make here a table here we're going to put the load and Appearance power S, power factor, active power Q. We're having two loads, so we have two rows for each load, and the last one for the total. So that's the load. Appearance power S, power factor. Active power, reactive power. So the table is ready. That's load one, load two, and that's the total. The information given uh, for uh, load one it's uh, 30 kilowatts, so everything now will be like in kilowatts here. And the power factor is equal to 0 0.6 and lagging. When you say lagging, just remember to put positive sign at the Q. That's the first step. Second load is 45 kilovar with bar factor equal to 0.8 lagging so both positive here that's it so what's required we want to find s total s total should be equal to active power total plus j reactive power total that's what we need to find uh, well, to do that, we got to continue to finish this table. So let's just uh, choose another color. To fill this table, we have to find Q. How to find Q by this information? Use uh, the power triangle to help you remember how we do it. So that's for load number one. The power is giving 30 kilowatts, and the power factor is giving 0.6. You don't know S, you don't know Q. How you find um, S and Q? We know that the power factor is equal P over S. The power factor in load one is given 0.6, so we we'll replace this by 0.6. The power is given by 30, so replace power by 30. From that, you can get S. Doing simple calculation, find S is equal 50 kilo volt ampere. So about 50 here. All right. Now we'll go for Q. How to find Q? Q, you'll find it by square root of S square minus B square. Uh, we have S is, is equal 50. So you have 50 square minus the power square, which is 30 square. Square root, you get 40 kilovar so you bought here 40 
Now I will go for load two, the same thing. We're going to have a part triangle. The information given, Q45, and the power factor is equal to 0.8. We don't know S, we don't know P. So the first thing, we know that the power factor is equal to cosine theta. So theta would be equal to cosine minus 1, the power factor. Accordingly, theta is equal to cosine minus 1.8. Doing that would be equal to 36.87 degree. Now we'll continue to find P and S. What's the relationship between P and Q? Because, I mean, you have one values given here. So I start to find P from Q. If you divide 45 by the part P, you will get 10 theta. And theta, we got it, 36.87 degree. From this equation, we can get the power for the second load, which will be equal to uh, 60 kilowatt. So we'll go there, what power is equal to 60. You do need to find S, by the way. You can save your time. But, I mean, if you want to find S, it's no big deal. Yes, you find it by p square q square square root. You have the power 60 kilowatt. You have q is equal 45. So we do that, you get 75. 75 kilowatt. You read now the table. You go to the table here and then you add. Don't add. Uh, don't add s. Don't add bar factor. Only add the power and Q because the power the real Q is all imaginary so 30 and 60 90 so you have the total 90 kilowatt Q you add 40 and 45 will have 85 so that's the power total and that's Q total so we can write now S total for the whole load is equal 90 plus J 85 so let's go back here and just do it here here so s total is equal 90 kilowatt plus j 85 all right that's a complex power well so we did the first part we found a complex power real and reactive power well that's your power so the total power is equal 90 kilowatt and that's the reactive power total that's equal 85 kilowatt easy all right uh, now part b the line current and eh, eh, you want the line current all right that's what is find the line how find the line current you got two loads i mean connected to uh same line that's load one and that's load two and that's the current i that requires i line all right well again how can you find the line current you know the voltage yes what is given okay it was giving line voltage equal to 240 kilowatt so the voltage here is equal to 240 kilovolt so i'm going to use a complex power as to uh, a parent power now i'm going to use a parent power as total it will be equal to square root of three the line voltage, the line current. And I'm going to find a line current from this equation. All right, so I L is equal S total divided by square root three VL. Now S total, uh, how you find S total? Well, you square uh, 90 and 85 and find the square root. So let me just do it here next to it. Because, I mean, that's the um, complex power, but the parent power we agreed about is the magnitude only. So it'll be 9 square plus 85 square square root and find its total, which would be equal to 123.36, uh, I'm sorry, 8, 
0.8 and the unit kilovolt ampere so 123.9 123.8 times a thousand why because that's kilo uh, VA divided by square root of 3 and the watch is given to 40 kilovolt it will give you the magnitude of the line current which is equal to um, 297.8 amp you found the magnitude of the line current you still want to find the uh, phasor and the phasor has a magnitude and an angle so 297.8 and we did that in previous example theta i here it will be the same theta that you got did you get theta for the whole thing no we didn't get it but we can get it from there what do you mean how we get it from there from the total s look at that ST, let me just write here, ST is equal 90 plus J85. This is the total complex power. If you sketch the power triangle, you have 90, you have 85, and we calculated the apparent power here. We just did it here in this uh, part here in the top. That's the total power. I mean the uh, apparent power, 123.8. One. 23.8 all in kilos okay so I need to find the angle theta of the top power so we can we can we can do that of course by finding the um, the value of the um, uh, theta in this case will be like 10 minus 1 85 by 90 uh, well Doing that will give us the angle 43.36 degree. Is uh, all right, and even you can find the power factor if you wish. You can find the power factor for the, for the whole total load combined. If you want to do that, you can say you say your power factor in this case is equal to cosine 43.36 degree, and then just find the value. It will be lagging, of course. Was the Q is positive here so if you wish I mean to find the power factor for the combined load I'm not interested in that I just I want to find the angle here for the current I know the magnitude I want to find the angle and we agree before that theta is equal theta V minus theta I and that will take it as a reference zero so theta uh, I is equal minus as with us minus theta so I take this angle 43.36 and I put it there negative sign because the current will be lagging 43.36 degree why I know the current is lagging because Q is positive so it'll be lagging bar factor so it means current will be lagging the voltage by this we're done with the problem it was another good example I hope that you got it